Today is my rest day, so I'm so bored, I've got nothing to do, but what better idea to take you to the shops and show you how you can get the fattest pump in the gym. The things that I'm going to show you are really not difficult to consume or do, and it can lead to a bigger pump in the gym. Of course, enhancing your pump is not necessary, but I definitely feel like when I'm working out and I look in the mirror, if I've got a pump going on, if I've got a few veins, I feel more motivated, like, I feel like, no, I'm not leaving the gym yet, I'm not done yet, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, the quality on this camera is actually insane. Before my gym sessions, I will consume certain things at certain times to give me good energy for the gym and a great pump. So make sure to watch the whole of this video to the end so you can see all of the things I talk about. Anyway, the weather is not looking great, I won't lie, but I'm determined to go to the supermarket, so let's go. When I said the weather was bad, it's so dark. <laughs> So I'm finally home, I've got all the things in here, but I just want to quickly say, all of the things I show are from personal experience, like yeah, there'll be research on it, but I have actually seen the difference in myself, in the size of my muscles and all of that, by taking it before a workout. So no, I don't think I'm so smart, I know absolutely everything, but I got a little bit of personal experience that I know works for me and will probably work for you. I want to make the very best content, so here's what I'm going to do. Since it's my rest day, I'm not going to the gym today and it's also really late and the gym is shut because it's a weekend, but I'll show you all the items now and why I take them and what they're good for, but tomorrow I will take them before my workout and I'll show you the times that I take them. I'll actually consume the things and show you them all tomorrow and I'll show you some awesome gym clips. I'm gonna hit a push day. I'm very excited because always after my rest days, I'm always so like gassed and I'm just ready to hit a session. I'm like itching for it. Because what I've previously been doing is putting my camera on the floor or in angles which no one will see it because I was really anxious about what people would say about me filming in the gym. But now I just don't really care. So you're gonna get the very best camera angle. So the items are bagels, square bars, beetroot, and pink Himalayan salt, plus a few others. So I'll take you through all of them tomorrow when you eat them and yeah, I don't know if you can tell but I'm knackered so I'm gonna go to sleep now so I'll catch you tomorrow. <sighs> uh, it is the next day and I slept beautifully. It is currently 12.37, uh, so it's nearly midday. I've had my breakfast but yeah, I got a lot of sleep so I'm pumped up for this session. When it comes to taking specific things just with the intention to like help my workout, my breakfast doesn't really come into it because I usually go to the gym quite late just because I prefer it. But the one thing I do for the whole day as soon as I've woken up to pretty much during my workout is drinking a lot of water. <sighs> Hydration is so, so important for the gym, for your pump and for so many aspects. So don't get me wrong, everyone is different, but I feel like the easiest thing you can do to make your gym sessions better is drink more water. So since I'm doing my workout at around 3 p.m. today, I would tend to eat a high in carbs meal three hours before. So it's 1 p.m. now. So if I eat it now, in three hours, I'll go to the gym and the energy should be through the roof. And also, I'm currently waiting on my friend to message me and let me know when we're going to the gym. But recently, he's been waking up at like 2 p.m. So I don't know if I'm going solo today, but if he is able to come, I should be able to get some good angles in the gym. <laughs> So as you've just seen, I had my beautiful bowl of pasta with tuna, because tuna is very high in protein, but it was mainly to get the carbs in. And then I also had a beetroot. 
Now you're probably thinking, surely you just had a beetroot for fun or blah, blah, blah. But the beetroot is actually really important towards my pump because beetroots improve blood flow. So by taking it before my workout, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of like beetroots. A lot of people don't, just it kind of tastes quite nice. So by taking it before my workout and they're really cheap, just get a bag of them pre-cooked from Sainsbury's or any supermarket. Take it before your workout and you'll see the difference. So it's currently 2.36. Also, look how cool that background is. Go hard or go home. The time right now is 2.37. Um, I'm going to get to the gym. Well, I'll leave at 3. And today I am going to take pre-workout. I don't always take pre-workout. But I feel like because I'm recording today, why not? So I'll take my pre-workout and I'll put a pinch of the secret ingredient, which gives you a fat pump. And I'll also take one bagel and one square bar. I know this is a bit extreme and you do definitely not need to do this every workout, but I enjoy doing it anyway. So right here, I've got the pre-workout and let me quickly plug myself. This is where you benefit because if you hit the first link in the description, you can get any supplements, protein powder, creatine, pre-workout, anything at a big discount if you use the code TOBYMP. But make sure you use that link because then I get commission. I'm so out of breath. I was running up the stairs. But anyway, so in here is one scoop of pre-workout and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Now sodium is really good for the pump and the blood flow. So that's why I put a little bit of it in here. And then I've got two square bars, but this is a little bit, quite a few people won't have these lying around in their house. So the solution is just take a banana before a workout. It does the same thing. So let's quickly rewind. Water, everyone's got water. Just drink more of it. It's good for the pump in the gym. It's good for your performance. Um, bagels or a form of carbs, so for example, bagels, pasta, uh, you know, toast, all of these things. Eat them before your workout. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure everyone will have them lying around in the house. Bananas, take it before your workout. Salt, sprinkle a teeny bit on the banana. Everyone's got these, so the only thing that you might not have is pre-workout, which is not necessary, obviously, and square bars, but there's solutions to that. You can have a black coffee if you really want, and take a banana instead of square bars. Timing-wise, I'll eat one square bar now, and then I'll eat one square bar when I'm like walking to the gym really close, and that's just because I feel like if I eat two at once, I don't know, psychologically, I feel like I'll get stomachache or something. So I eat one of these now, and then I drink the pre-workout when I'm about 10 minutes away from the gym. But this is timed perfectly for me because you have to drink it around 20 to 30 minutes before your workout. So I drink it 10 minutes before I'm there and then I get in, I get changed, I stretch. You see what I mean? Timing is so important. And it's also same with the water. There's no point just before your workout downing two liters of water because during your workout, you're gonna be needing a piss like every five minutes. So that's why you drink it from the start of the day onwards. Yeah, today I'm hitting a push session which based so I follow push pull leg split so on a push day I'm doing chest shoulders and triceps and it's probably one of my favorite days so I'm very excited for that mm.
uh, I'm currently in this angle because uh, it's very dark outside. What happened was I decided I was gonna wait to bench first, but someone was benching for like an hour, which is fine, like it's not my gym. Um, but then I ended up getting really tired, so I was just trying to cram everything in as soon as possible because the gym shut at six, so that's why it was a little bit shambolic. Also, I'm in trouble because my mum cooks dinner at six and it's currently six or five and I'm supposed to be home, so I think I'm gonna run, so I'll catch you there. Alright, so I'm back home. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best workout because the gym shut early, but it was a workout. It was decent. I got a nice pump. There are occasions which I don't take salt before the workout and I won't take beetroot and all the other stuff. And I do definitely notice that I'm not as vascular or I'm not looking as big. But obviously, it's not always just about getting the pump. you got to get the good workout in and then eventually one day... Uh, you'll get your dream physique. I wasn't going to say this when I was in the gym, but I feel like it would be a little bit awkward for me to hold the camera up and say this, but bringing the camera into the gym and recording with different angles for me was a huge like confidence jump because I've been very anxious about filming in the gym and what other people will think and this and that. In my previous video, I was recording angles like this all the way from the floor with like my hoodie on top so that no one would see. But after today, you know, I said, screw it, I'm filming a YouTube. I took a physique update video in the gym and now I feel a lot more confident. I feel like I'm going to be taking my camera in there a lot more often. So any content ideas to do at the gym, just drop them in the description and I'll be sure to do them. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and a subscription because this is only my third video and I would love to keep making content on here. But oh, bro, I'm so out of breath from this workout. I'm holding my camera up and my lat is tensing up so so much I'm gonna put you here anyway as I was saying make sure to drop a like and subscription because I would love to keep making content on YouTube but that relies on the fact that I got to grow an audience and and get good views so love you all make sure to drop a like and a sub and have a brilliant week